been Angie Plastic, call that Stockton. All of a sudden, labels shocking, asking for another option. Coppers asking why I'm speeding minor league. Major Deegan trying to take them through the precinct. Lawyer said you need a reason. Spot the kid on Spotify. Yeah. Seen the numbers, they don't lie. Yeah. Yellow birdie in the logo. We on two plus the outro. High stakes in my funds low. Honeymoon in the bungalow. No shirts, the gun show. Man, I'm flexing on my ex. I'm in the pocket like bread. Magic and burn like the 80s. Starting, but don't try and play. Then I went go suck up sways. Two tone in the Patagon, that's Beach and Navy. Hassle hall full of slow mode, that's sexy wavy. And I wrist, wrist, wrist. I know there's opposition, but it's switch, switch, switch. I know you seen them do it, but not like this. Money make you war it, break you. Take the game before it takes you low five. Like Kyrie, one girl no side piece. I call that fine by me. Woo. Living like I'm never gonna die. Hate your man, I know they gon' try. You don't never pay him no mind. If you did, they have a gold mine. If you like what you like, then you don't need no cosign. No business, this show business. Stay on the man and it's showtime. Uh. I'm in the pocket like Brady. Magic and bird like the 80s. Kobe, I might put up Eddie. Look on these G's that can save me. I know the way, I know the way. Look, ain't nothing to say to me. I'm about to break, I'm about to break. Uh, somebody can pray for me. I got this great in me. I got to get it, cause that's what I made to be. I cannot focus, man. I got the ADD. I'm getting bigger, just look how she played at me. Uh, don't get lost in the sauce. Take that from a veteran. Like a dog ball when the Spanish home is on everything. Uh. Thank you for joining. We're going to do this episode a little bit different this time. And I think you, the listener, will appreciate it. Whoever listens, right? You know what I'm saying? It's going to be very simple. We all put ourselves through misery. Sometimes we think it's luxury. Sometimes we think it's victory, and it's lessons learned, right? I'm here tonight to say that there's always a way out of this misery we put ourselves through. Do we deserve it? No, we don't. None of us do. But no matter how low I get, no matter if it's self-inflicted or if it's been done to me on purpose, I don't always handle it the right way. But you know what? I will always stand up for myself and my family, my son. No matter what misery... I'm not even going to say we at this point because I need to talk a little bit about my story You know, be a little selfish for once because every time I talk to people, I feel as if they're not really even listening. You know, I've only met a really good number of a couple people that are really good listeners and they're hard to find. But this is a vent session. A little bit about what's going on with my life in the world today, basically the United States, but it's going all around the world, obviously. We all know about the COVID, make sure you wear your mask, got to do all these things. You know, it's, it's something that today I looked around and I just, I said, this is like the normal, you know, everybody has a mask and I'm not trying to downplay that I know the mask work. All that. But it's just, you know, my reality to it. You know, my perspective. And 
I feel for my son having to grow up in this kind of world that we live in. It's um, it's already tough enough for us adults, you know, and uh, some of us still got some growing up to do. You know, all of us, we all have areas in our life where we can improve. And I try to believe that in every every person I meet. And, you know, uh, sometimes you're not meant to get along with certain people for a reason. They're just, uh, just a chapter in your story. And that's okay, you know. Uh, we ain't going to be too down tonight. You know, I'm going to be excited for the future. I feel as if hmm, I am breaking curses and chains from not only just self-inflicted from others, but from family generations from long, (laughs) long, long ago, you know, and uh, it's not easy. I fail a lot. Well, I have failed. <laughs> I have fallen and I always get up. <laughs> Gotta have a little sense of humor. Um, pray for my dad. You know, he's going through. My mom showed me the list today and it just hits me a little different. You know, got a lot going on. And, uh,. Already having his first chemo. He did pretty good, though. I'll give him credit. He's a soldier. Vietnam vet. Should uh, get a lot more respect from hospitals than he does. But that's just, that's a whole nother podcast. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he got his lung cancer. And uh, it's not easy uh, trying to be the caregiver, you know. And it is trying because, you know, we all make sacrifices for certain people, for certain things that we love to do and or whatnot. Sometimes we forget about family. And I got a private number calling me right now. And what time is it? 11.13. Somebody calling me. And you know, uh, maybe they'll leave a message, but the private number... Never really leaves a message, do they? <laughs> this one in particular does hasn't talked, so I don't know who it is. Uh, we're gonna figure that out eventually. Um, actually, I really don't care. <laughs> I actually think it's a little entertaining, you know, because we've all done it, right? I mean, some less, some more than others. But um, yeah, it is what it is. That's just that's a whole other venting thing to talk about how many private numbers calls do you get a day listener uh it's uh this life right now is uh pretty interesting <laughs> say the least but i'm excited i'm excited for the future and i'm excited for uh what's in store And a lot of us uh, tend to lose hope, and I've lost hope in a lot of people. But one person I never lose hope in is myself. I never count myself out. I will count you out way before I count myself out. And you won't even know that I count you out. I'll wait till you count yourself out. (laughs) No, but seriously. I'm breaking it down for you. And, uh... This is who I am. Take it or leave it. A lot of people leave it. You know, I mean, uh, I don't blame you. I'm very unique. I'm very rare. Whatever word you want to use in your vocabulary, you can pull one out. <laughs> I'm having a, a good, interesting time during my journey. Being single, you know, after the breakup with the... Uh, Mother of my child. And I uh, haven't been with anyone since. And, uh, yeah, I talked to a few exes, stuff like that, but nothing nothing too serious, you know. And uh, 
Uh, it's a uh, it's a lot more complex than a lot of people think, and there's a lot more other guys that are out there that are going through it. And I, I know females go through it too. I'm I'm not sitting here, you know, just um, completely sounding sexist. You know, I'm, I'm serious. It happens to women too, but in particularly this episode, we're talking about how it happens to the father, and in particular me. I know I'm a little selfish with it. I know that I am selfish with my son. I'm very selfish with the fact that I want more. I deserve more. He deserves more. And uh, I got to fight for it. And uh, the courts aren't really too... They don't cooperate, really. I don't cooperate with them either. I'm not going to sit here and say it's... I'm not going to sit here and play victim like a lot of people do. And I'm not... I'm not judging nobody. I'm not trying to say that you're a bad person. You could say I'm a bad person all you want, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you think. It matters what God thinks. It doesn't even matter what I think. And let me re-say that so you can understand that. It doesn't matter what you think. There's going to be different thoughts. Go ahead and Google it now or whatever. How many thoughts go in the brain in just one hour. How many thoughts go in the brain for 12 hours, 24? Just to, And that's just going to be an average of how many thoughts. Might be good ones, might be memories, might be this, might be that, whatever it is, right? Yeah. So, with the thought process being negative most of the time, the people you're around, that's what's going to stay on your mind. <laughs> I'm venting tonight. I'm having I'm having clarity, you know? I'm having bliss moment. And it has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with material. It has nothing. I mean nothing to do with romance or love. This is all about self growth. Even you that is in a relationship needs this. You need to understand that you are great. No matter what arguments you get in with the people that you've cared for, you care for, that's going to happen. But you have to continue to remember that you are a spitting image of God. And so am I. And I'll try to treat you that way as long as you treat me that way. If, if you give me the respect, I'll give you the respect. You know? I know that there's a lot of people that don't like me, you know, and there's a lot of people that I don't like, but that doesn't mean that they're terrible people or if I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not a terrible person. I made bad choices just like you, but at the end of the day, God knows what kind of heart I have. And the Lord has come for the weak and the poor, and the struggling. And his life has beaten me down, especially the past 10, 15 years. No one quite understands it. It's not meant to be understood. It's meant for me to grow, grow from, and become the man I need to be. But that takes time. See, a lot of people don't have time. Because time is money. And if money's not had, you aren't going to get the time. And that's the, that's, the, that's the kind of world we live in today. It's not all about really your personality. It's not really all about, you know, um, where you came from. What's your favorite food, your favorite color. You know, 21 question kind of thing, right? It's... Um, Hmm. It's about your looks. It's about your job. It's about your car. It's about... It's not about how you take care of your family. It's not about how you take care of your parents. God sees those things. And that's the greatest thing about life. Even when no one's looking... 
When you do a good thing, someone is. Like your guardian angel might be the Holy Spirit himself. But there's going to be a lot of bad times. There's going to be a lot of bad blood. People you're not going to really get along with. And uh, God has a special way of maneuvering those people out of your life. If you allow them. Just got to be prepared for the signs, the signals. Especially over the years, I've come to read people very well. Now, I don't tell everybody that. But I will tell some people that. And then once I read them, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like no psych, you know, psychic thing. No, it's literally just looking at your eyes, just observing. Just certain different, my spirit connecting. I can, I can figure out what you're really good at. Or what you could be. But if I don't have the best version of you in front of me. I ain't going to give you. What you think you deserve. The best version of me. If you can't see me at my low. Then how can I expect to appreciate you seeing me. At my high. See, I'm not the type of person that stunts, you know, or tries to, you know, brag or try to make people feel a negative way unless they make me feel a negative way. Then it's a reaction at that point, you know. But I leave it most of the time alone after a while. We have to, you know. We have to move on. We have to move on from everything. Yeah, and it takes some of us longer to uh, realize that. But anyways, so far, if you have listened this long, I appreciate you pressing play. Um, This is The Ember Show. I normally start it off a little different uh, with the intro, but you know what? Uh... This is about the miseries, right? We put ourselves through. Now I'm going to say we. Remember how I said, I'm not going to say it? So now I'm going to say we. I made a song the other day that, you know, it says repent, right? We have to repent every day. Not just once a month. You know? <laughs> Because I'm going to say, we fail every day. But we also succeed. As long as we get to see another day. I'm just venting to you. You know, whoever's listening. If you're listening live, I appreciate you. Yeah. Even if you hate me. If you love me. Whatever. Everything's going to be all right. Everybody has their way of coping with the miseries of life. Sometimes we put ourselves in the misery and wonder why we can't just get out of the misery. Or why have uh, people let us down? Why? I don't know. All I know is I'm about to play one of my songs. I'm going to come back and close this out. And, uh, yeah, this is an unexpected podcast tonight. So, uh, enjoy the Ember Show. Bruh, Mark. Yeah. Bruh, Mark. Yeah. I got an 
everybody that got that get off to me. Yeah. Listen, I am sitting in the breeze. It don't really matter what's going on around me. Yeah, I spit fire. Everybody's looking for their desire. Two cop go by me. Don't really matter. Cause I really gotta go with the flow. It don't really matter cause I'm still gonna really lose though. But I'm gonna win. I gotta start learning from the errors. And the people wanna point the fingers. But that ain't me. I'm sitting here. I know that the studio is counting on me just as much as I'm. I'm accounting on it. A lot of people don't understand that they are counterfeit, but it's okay. It's okay. It don't really matter. Yeah, I'm in Sanford and I gotta really go with the uh, current. Everybody doesn't understand when it when it comes to your veins, comes to the pain, comes everything I'm trying to really escape. Yeah, I'm looking for the real relief. It don't matter because I'm really got to leave. I gotta smoke weed. I gotta get everything I see, get the stems of seeds out. Everybody looking like I gotta, yeah, point them out. No, I ain't gotta do that. I just sit back. I don't like the drama. Don't like everything. Yes, I know karma's real. Sitting here, I know I gotta really keep it real. And if they don't like it, well, that's okay. They can fight it. And then I ain't talking about civil court, but I've been up. Oh, go up the police. And yeah, they coming. Yeah, they coming. They don't see me. Cause uh, they see my angels blocking me. And everything is like everybody's mocking me. Now you can't mock this. Holy Spirit got a whole nother gun. Direction and the people want to be fat. Mm, I'm losing track. It don't matter cause I ain't no train so I ain't gotta stay on track. I'm just gonna be in like where is my act? Hey. Nah, nothing like that. Everything's gotta be authentic. I just thought I could show y'all that. Hey, when the beat comes back, it's here. And everybody's looking like they got it in gear. But everybody's in fear. And everybody got no faith. There ain't nobody praying today. You ain't praying today. Well, guess what? I did it today. And I know how it felt. And, it, and I know the difference. Everybody's looking like they're gifted. But it ain't something that should be really missing. But it's, it's missing. And everybody's looking lost. Doesn't really matter because my phone's about to die, dog. Don't really matter because I got the charger and I don't understand it, but I'll make it louder. Hey, why it's missing? I think the boy's tripping. We're trying to get self together and don't know what is missing. I know we're gone and everybody talking about this shit wrong and everybody talking about leaving him alone. Yeah, yeah, young. Hey, Keep my head open, talking about yeah, nigga. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Coming out of the mind, some crazy shit, nigga. You a fire boy, you a fire nigga, you a fire bitch, nigga. Try this, we gonna do that. Don't miss. I know you nigga be thinking about getting the nigga. Talking about what a nigga be sweating a nigga. Say, how the nigga been in somewhere the nigga? Hey, what's wrong with you, fuck ass nigga? You pussy boy, you be talking like shit. You's a hoe. Keep it shit up in your mouth. But nigga, they ain't talking about it. Nigga, get your eyes. Police. Okay, welcome back to the Ember Show. That was a little uh, freestyle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Me and my boy kind of killed that beat. We were having a good night uh, out there by the lake, by Sanford. Uh, lake of Popka, I believe it is. Yeah. Um, it was a beautiful night, too. Just looking at the water. I love being by the water. I love the ocean. I love anything outdoors. Uh, I love basketball. I love football. I love... Oh, I thought we were on a date. Oh, see, yeah, uh, you're like, damn, he crazy. He's talking to himself. You think he's talking to a girl? Yeah, hey. This is my show. I do what I want. Might even get my little basketball and shoot it in the hoop. I might not. No, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm about to say, is the mic off? Oh, boy. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm. I hope everyone's having a great week so far. It is uh, hump day. Am I correct? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Hope everyone's getting ready for Thanksgiving. Uh, 
the whole social distancing. That's pretty. They're saying you guys all shouldn't. I wonder how y'all feel about that. I don't know. I mean, Thanksgiving with. It's more like Christmas, though. A lot of people get get together. Oh, Thanksgiving, too. So I don't know. I don't know. I know it's just going to be me and my mom and dad and my brother. I have some good food, though. Thanks to my brother, not my brother, my dad's sister. Looking out for uh, the Thanksgiving dinner. Very nice of her. She's done a lot for us. Shout out to Sherry. Shout out to Carrie. No Karen. Uh, shout out to his mom, too. and Everyone that just... Uh, Supports us in different ways. And that's what we got to do. We got to be here for each other. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out. As you can tell, I'm a, I'm a little down. And uh, that's okay. Sometimes you got to be down to get up. Amen. we yeah, have some Bible verses next episode. I might do it tomorrow, actually. Because I got to work Friday. So, yep. Yeah. Tomorrow, probably around 4 p.m. Eastern Time, The Ember Show will continue. Have a good night. If I ever took a loss, I learned a lesson I won't ever think I'm better than the next man I've been down before to come up, I ain't stressing Baby, I'm too busy counting all these blessings Yeah, 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 yeah. Count, it up, count it up, count it up, count it up Line them up, line them up, line them up Spread the sun shining on me, get my heart up No matter that trouble surrounding us They don't see that it's a lot of us Everybody move anonymous Won't take that credit, I know what we get it Them blessings be coming from God above Blessings